Hi, everybody. It's Ron and Amy, and we wanted to talk to you about the viral pneumonia that's going around and affecting many dogs throughout the country now. Yes, our dog Moses had it in February. We live in the Northeast, and a lot of dogs had it back then, and it seems that it's spreading now throughout the country in Oregon and Savannah and Minnesota. So we wanted to do a quick video. And it's a lot like kennel cough, but it's not kennel cough, right? No. The vets, if they're not familiar with this or haven't heard about it, will tell you it's kennel cough and try to treat it as kennel cough, and that will not work. The medicine they give is not for kennel cough, and it's not for the flu. It will not take care of this. It is viral bacterial pneumonia. Very contagious. Dogs give it to each other. Uh, we're not quite sure how, but it could be through water. It could be just through saliva. So uh, yeah. uh, it's a big issue. Uh, they don't know what's causing it. Which is frustrating because dogs that go to daycare are getting it. Dogs that don't go to daycare are getting it. So they have no idea what's causing it. All they know is it is incredibly deadly to some dogs, as it was for our Moses. And what are some of the symptoms? So with Mo and with the dogs that we've heard of, coughing, but it comes on quick. It came on with Mo like in 24 hours. So he had a cough. He was vomiting, foamy mouth, completely lethargic, um, high fever. So those were his yeah. symptoms. A couple of days it took before we really were like, oh. He tanked, though. Yeah, he tanked. Yeah, he tanked. He was like, we thought he had kennel cough. We were like, he's got kennel cough. And then one day he tanked. He threw up, laid on the ground, and we couldn't get him up. And yep. he's 150 pounds. And we waited a couple days. And just, you know, leading up to that, we had waited. Ah, he seemed a little, maybe has kennel cough. Maybe he'll get over it. Not a good idea. The big thing with this is ASAP. Get them to the doc, and they need to get... Uh, on antibiotics. Right. So when you get to the doctor, you want to ask them to check their O2 levels, to check their temperature, to check their hydration, because Mo's O2 was really low. He had a super high fever and was dehydrated because he hadn't been drinking and he had been vomiting. So um, those are the things that he was treated for in an ICU unit for over 24 hours. Yeah. And the other thing is that uh, a lot of the medications that they'll put you on don't work. It just does not work. And They're the not treating the are, right thing. The medications are antibiotics, and those antibiotics are not the proper antibiotics. So we had success with two antibiotics called... Uh, clavicillin and Batril. I'll link them below to what they were. Um, and then we've also heard people that have had really good results with a, a, a medicine called Xenoquin. Um, so antibiotic also. Another yeah. antibiotic. So that combination worked well for Mo. We actually... Um, told other people whose dogs were sick with the same thing that they should get on it. It helped those dogs. So that combination seemed to work really well for dogs that are getting this viral bacterial pneumonia. Yep. And once Mo was on the right medication, which he was right from the beginning, luckily, I mean, uh, yeah. he recovered pretty quickly. Within a couple of days, you could definitely tell he was doing better. And within two weeks, he was really back to uh, normal. Yeah, it definitely took some time for him to get his energy back. It really kind of knocked him out. But but his symptoms eased up very quickly yeah. after he was on that. But again, he was in the ICU for 24 hours on a lot of oxygen. They told us to prepare ourselves. We might lose them. They had lost a bunch of dogs yeah. that week. Um, so we just wanted to share this information with you guys to know that um, if your dog is really sick, get him to the vet ASAP. If they're telling you it's kennel cough, ask them to check for pneumonia. Um, and then those medications are the ones that are helping. Cornell University is studying this right now in conjunction, I believe, with the University of New Hampshire. I'll try to find the articles and link them below. And if anybody has any questions or comments, please, down below, we'll be checking them and be happy to answer the questions with whatever Whatever we, we know. can, yeah. Best of luck. Thanks.